This is it, our first show ever, dude. No, it's not our first. It's not our first show ever, fool. It's the music for it. Coming to you pre-recorded from Ace Broadcast Studios in Glendale, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. I'm Don Barris. As usual, I'm along with Mole. That's me. And Scary Perry. That's me. Wow, what excitement you put in there. Well, see, I knew rather than the jump in the middle, you would go, Hey, you didn't even let me finish announcing your name. We look at it and call you scary fuckhead. Wow, that's really coming down on me hard. But maybe you're right, and you mm. were professional. Thank you. Today is truly a huge day because next week we've got something really big. Wait, why does that make today big? Yeah, it really doesn't. Well, what's all? What's that's going like on? That's like saying, next hey, week? the week before the Super Bowl is really big because the next week's the Super Bowl. Anyway, next week. We start two podcasts from Perry's apartment. If I'm not in the hospital. What do you mean? I might be going in the hospital. No, you're not. How do you know? No, I'm not. Because you said you've got to go on the 16th, and then you have a court case on the I, 22nd. The 22nd court case was moved to April 22nd. Oh, no. Perry. Right. Well, you can't fuck up this show. I'm going to do what no, I can. No, say that you me. go in on... I, I'm going to tell them on the 16th. That I'm that who I am and, and that I have to... Uh, what do you mean? You're going to tell him who you are. What does he's going to say he's Perry of the Big Three Podcast. Right. We have the Apartment Podcast coming up this week. Exactly. As everybody knows, he can't have his neck operated on this week because he's got the much-anticipated Big Three Podcast from his apartments. Right. Okay. Thank you, Mo. All right. Well, that's it. So I guess that's all said. The next two episodes we will have from Perry's Apartment. Unless he fucks us over and goes to the hospital, but you can't do that, Perry. I'm gonna say that I'm unable. Okay, good. Until so just, then, just uh, I'm gonna call you up the day the day before we have to tape at my house, and I'm gonna say I'm in the hospital, man. <laughs> if you do that, I'll break your fucking neck. I'm already my neck is already broken. What do you want to do? Break All right. The anyway, other bone? well, let's do this because we are going into your apartment, and there's gonna be some rules. I know one of the rules you gave to me. If anyone needs to use the restroom, now you should know this, Mo. If you need to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. you can't use a, his apartment. You have to walk down the block and use the Denny's restaurant. Denny's? Yeah, down block the away. All right. What other what other rules are coming up for this apartment shoot? <clears throat> what other rules? Well, you of course know this. You should of course know this. Can as I interrupt well as you? real quick? It, you're really taking a long time to get to these rules. And I do want to thank you because this past week, we're going to put up pictures on the website. But the other day, yeah. Perry helped me detail my car. Why? Well, I, I, with a broken neck, he detailed my car. We took a few pictures. I, I didn't really wow. detail it. It was more of a detailing wash. Yeah. We cleaned the, the inside very well. But we didn't wax the car. It was a detailing wash. I'm rubbing my fit, my thumb against my two fingers like this to pay. No, there was nothing. There's the same amount of money that's in your hand right now. None. Exactly. Like mine. Exactly. Okay, so let's get to your rules. Can <laughs> you detail my car, too? Because today we have a big responsibility thrown upon our show. And I'll get to that as soon as Perry gets his damn rules And up. I have a question, too. Sure, what's your Where's question? Where's our house band from last week? Oh, they're not the house band. They were here one time. Slate and Matt? Yeah, they were here once. Yeah, they got not. fired already? No, they were never, they were just guests on the show. They're pretty good. <laughs> okay, Perry, let's get to your rules. All right, the rules. Number one, as you know, when you walk into my apartment, you are absolutely positively not allowed to touch anything. You walk in, you walk around the uh, my mom's dresser, you walk around the back of the couch. And then you sit on the couch. Okay. And then you sit on the couch. And yeah. you'll see things there and stuff. And Don't we'll, touch those. You don't touch nothing. How can we touch the couch? Well, you can touch the arm on the couch. It'll now, when we're doing lines of coke off your mom's dresser. No, you're not going to be doing lines of coke off my mom's dresser. It is a glass dresser, though. See, you're going to come in okay, with Okay, we're joking. We're joking. Thank you. I don't do coke. Okay. I know. You're going to... Okay, get to the there, rules. All right. We got a That's big. One. This podcast has been given You'll a see the shut computer. up. This podcast has been given a huge responsibility, and we'll get to that as soon as Perry's done with his rules. Continue. 
You'll see my computer. You do not go near the computer. You do not touch the computer. You don't touch it. Well, that's part of touching anything in the apartment. Right. right. The computer is part okay. of one of the right. things. Can I no ask alcohol. you this? Can I ask you this? No. If, if we whoa, need to check up. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. Well, a couple whoa, things. Whoa. Let me ask this. And Don then you had ask... three cases of beer and all your Baileys, and we can't toast with the glass. All my Baileys but... fucking the bitch drank. We're bringing Baileys. The bitch drank. Okay, we, we can't, can't no toast alcohol. with oh, some you... champagne. Uh, and the other you, thing. If you're going to bring a bottle of Baileys, <laughs> make sure it's the big bottle. What happens if we need to check our Facebook status or if we want to change our Facebook? Check face- it on your phone. No, no, no. I can't. Can we? Well, then like, forget it. Let's I say that I'm in a relationship and I want to get out computer. of the relationship. Okay. Uh, no alcohol other than what we toast what we with. Just talk and about. plus, we're having an Italian meal. We have to toast with the, some vino. Absolutely. It'd be Italian. I'm Italian, oh, dude. fuck. Not a lot, yeah. but I'm going to drink three cases of okay, wine. Okay, continue on. Okay. That's that. And, and that's basically it. Just don't touch things. Yeah. Yeah. And respect. The skateboards. It's called respect. respect. It's called Thank respect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Respect. The skateboard. This is Perry's apartment. Respect it. Oh, my, I'm going to. My my uh, skateboards, I'm going to keep in the closet. Yep. Like everything gonna, else. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm going to um, yeah. I'm gonna leave. Uh, do not touch the, the uh, electric guitar that you see. You'll see an electric guitar case oh, behind the door. Oh, fuck you, man. Let me just jam uh, no, one No fucking way. No, fucking no, one no, song. No, no, way. Don't touch no. anything. What if I bring my I, own guitar and we jam? You play your guitar, I play my guitar. We I, don't have a, I don't have a Okay, uh, a enough of this list. Enough of the stuff. list. All right, we have a big responsibility given to us. Yes, That's as you one. know, uh, the great show, The Days of Thunder, quit on you. And the other big sports show on the Ace Broadcasting Network, Spider and Spider the, the Hench, canceled. Whoa. Because we're kicking their ass. All right, well, the point is, is that Perry, what we're going to do is we're going to get on this sports thing. So we're going to do a little sports from now on this show. All right. We'll be the only <clears throat> sports show on the Ace Broadcasting Network. That's what I'm Network. saying, because now Whoa. Spider and the Hench, gone. Days of Thunder, Gone. Big three podcasts here In. to fucking stay. Clearly, know something those other guys don't know. Oh hell yeah! But first, which, w- real quick, can I ask about the sports? Now? Yeah. Which sports are we going to be talking about? All all the major sports, or are we going to get into like X game sports? Are we uh, going to talk about that? Uh, too? We could do. We could touch base with everything. Okay. What, what I'm Beautiful. saying is, but before we get to that, I want to give you the big three podcast top favorite fresh fruits that we have. Okay. Number five, I'm going to go with watermelon. That's good. Okay. okay. Number four, bananas. Bananas. That's number four. I would expect that to be like number two or number one for That's you. That's wrong. Well, I'll tell you this. We like the bananas, but have you ever dipped a banana in yellow mustard? There's nothing no. better. Banana okay, number three. In, in, in chocolate gonna, syrup. What's that? Banana and chocolate syrup. Okay, number three, plums. I like them. Number two. You know what they turn into? What's that? Prunes. You know what you do prunes? What? <laughs> what? Eat them. Eat them. Okay. Poop. Very, you, you do poop. That's for sure. Okay. Number two, peaches. And the number one big three podcast favorite fresh fruit, black cherries. Wow. Wrong. No, shut the fuck up. Wrong. No, you're wrong. I can't believe peaches didn't because make you the didn't list. Because you didn't add apples. Two. Oh. You didn't add apples to the, nope, to the list. No, not on there. And I'm from Michigan, the number two apple producing state in America. By the way, uh, we're going to be doing so this Washington a lot. Washington and Michigan are the two apple producing states. Yeah, right? absolutely. That's what I, I said. I know this stuff, Perry. He's brilliant. By the way, for future lists that we're going to have on future podcasts, uh, we have NBA teams that should be ro- relocated <laughs> in Pittsburgh, PA. Top 30 condiments to take on a picnic. Oh, and, you know what I like? What's that? Um, what's that one? You put on stuff. Uh, okay, it's kind of vague, but what is it? You put it as a condiment. You go Chocolate like, syrup? Yes. Sprinkles? Okay. How about whipping cream? And this is one I'm looking That's for. That's on ice cream. Okay. One that it I'm really cream, looking right. forward to. What's the favorite color of socks you would wear when wearing a red shirt? So we've got all those lists to look forward to in future podcasts. I'm going classic do... white, classic white. Well, we let's wait till that podcast to <laughs> okay. talk about it. Okay, well, depends we... on what color pair of pants you have on. That also matters. We're going to talk about that on a future podcast. I was just giving little teases, Perry, 
That's what you do in the podcast I mean, business. If the shirt is red. You don't. Perry, put- we'll talk about that on a future podcast. Today was our favorite fresh fruits. All right. Can I also mention a sponsor? No, not yet. No. Damn. You don't have a sponsor. I you, got a sponsor. You got money for us. Not money yet. Well, I, got, need money. I got meals. Meals. It's a restaurant. Somebody's going to give us meals? Somebody's going to give us, uh, you buy one meal and you get the second meal for half off. <laughs> what? No, you can't do that. Fuck that. They got to give us free meals. We got to get something. So we have to then, buy then a meal buy and a meal, half. You buy a meal, then you get the second meal for free. No. No, we're not doing Perry, you've got taken again. I didn't get taken. I, I'm the one that's making the rules here. No, you're not making any rules here. I'm making the fucking rules here. I say you buy one meal and you get the second meal free. Okay, before, oh, oh. before we get into our uh, sports talk, let's do this. Uh, it's time right now. Let's get this out of the way. Time once again for our $10 shout out. $10 shout out. Now, today we have actually three shout outs. Oh, really? Yeah, three, three. shout outs. Nice. All right. This first one, I'm going to read it. There's $10. Dear Big Three, I'm hereby requesting an awesome $10 shout out. Thank you, Big Three. Most sincerely, Lindsay Worth. Now, Lindsay has actually kept in touch with me on Facebook. Where's so Lindsay right. from? I think she's, wow, I think she's from Washington or someplace like that. Uh, she's in touch with me also on Facebook. Really? Number one opera producing state. Yeah. yeah. Well, where, where are they in Bing Cherries? Not number one like Michigan. Yeah, but number one in apples. That's what Perry yeah, told okay. me. Okay, well, okay, fine. Michigan's number two in apples. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not right, a big deal. All right, you want to you want to read this next one? Me? Sure. Yeah, okay. It's another uh, $10 shout-out. Go ahead with that one. Hey, Dan Mullen, Scaremaster. <laughs> Windy City Heat is one of my favorite movies, and I love your uh, podcast. I hope I can get a, a $10 shout-out about my new song on iTunes called Everybody Says I Love You by My Myro Music. Oh, I know this. Jeff Myro. And his, yeah, Myro uh, Music, and uh, featuring the late Brad Delp, the original singer from the band Boston. Yeah, you're a big fan of Boston. Uh, yeah, you? he lighted up a barbecue in the bathroom and killed himself. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you <laughs> serious? Yeah. Okay. Keep up the, uh, the uh, great show. He had kind of mentioned since uh, Looking to forward to hearing that, more cool. about uh, uh, Bean Town Heat. Jeff, Bean Town Heat. Okay, and then our third $10 shout-out. Uh, Mole, you want to read that one? It says, hello, Don and Scary Perry and Sir Mole. I live in Brookline, New York. So maybe for my $10 shout out, you dudes can do a quick Brooklyn accent as a tribute, but like a good one. Or if not, maybe you can just shout out to Ghost. That's my nickname. Big fan and keep it up. Travis, Ghost. I'm not very good at giving. Get the fuck out of here. Do a fucking Brooklyn accent for fucking Travis. The only one I do know is... Do a fucking Brooklyn my accent. Favorite. Hey, exactly. Do a fucking Brooklyn accent for fucking good. piece of shit you over there. Hey, why do you got to Why do you gotta curse with everything? Brooklyn is like the most uh, educated... Brooklyn is the one Brooklyn of the most Academy beautiful cities. And the, and the Brooklyn Museum. It's one of the most educated places in the in the world. And you degrade it by using nothing but a, a commonplace, uh, a stereotypical uh, 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 obscenities. Like, yeah. you got a fucking problem with that, you fucking prick? <laughs> Not really. Why, why are you doing that? If you want to shout out to us personally, you can reach me at Don Barris on Facebook... You can reach Perry on Facebook at Perry F. Caravello, and that's K A R C A R A V as in Victor E double L O. Walter Molininski, and that's M O L I N S K I. That's my name. Windy City Heat Facebook, Tim Perpedic, and that's P E R P E D I C at Facebook. You can also see the Ding Dong Show Facebook, Simply Don One on Twitter. Uh, so you can get in touch Scary with us. Scary Perry eight one eight on Twitter. Okay, okay, and you can also you can also get uh, terrifying Tim skateboards and snowboards through Tempur Pedic. Yeah, face, Facebook. He, he tried to rob me. Oh really? Did he? And, oh yeah. Well, let me let me tell you what he did. As you know, he came up with a great idea of giving tours of very famous rock places, like where rock stars oh, live, awesome. where things happen on the Sunset That's Strip. That's the bus he's getting, right? He bought the bus. And he was going to give tours. But then Perry came down hard on him. He sold the bus for you. 
And I know that you have a big announcement because you told us before that at the end of March, you were going to start doing your tours. So you want to give a plug for that right now? Well, we were, but I don't know when, when the uh, tours are going to begin because of my neck problem. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, I got to go in the sold, hospital. He sold his bus? So you could start your fucking tour and you're not even... So gonna... I can get my neck dream, surgery, dude. That dude. was his dream. He was a big fan of Boston area bands and he loved this. He loved music. Let him do the Boston area uh, bus tour with the, one, one of the Boston bands. Because okay. there is the band Boston. Dale Bozio is originally from Boston. My Aerosmith. Uh, Aerosmith. Jay Giles. Jay Giles. Um, uh, what's babies. That? What else? Come on. What's that one band that's like... Uh, the, the thing with the band? With the, the, they, the, they play guitar. They have guitars in the band. Uh, the guy knocks on wood. The guy knocks on wood. Oh, the knock on wood guy. Oh, oh. Come on, Perry. The God, knock on wood I guy. don't got to knock uh, on wood. I can't take Boston. it because I'm... I'm, I'm a knocking box tonight, on wood. knocking on, on wood all you know day and night. I <laughs> never <laughs> do this stuff before because we're from Boston. What's that song that we're thinking of? The, that you guys are thinking of. The I, Mighty, I Mighty. Uh, the my, Bus Tones? Yes. Oh, the, the, bus. the Mighty, Mighty Bus Tones, right. Bus Tones. Who's the lead singer for that? The lead singer of the band. <laughs> you and I all, three of us are like, duh. I'll tell you what, if it's not Slate, it should be. <laughs> Because he was awesome yeah, last week. Yeah. He really was. He is a good All right, well, here's here's my problem. Let's get away from the Mighty Mighty Bus mm -hmm. Stops, and let's get on to this, because this was written, and I don't want to read it. They asked me to read this, but maybe we should have Perry read this. Anal Blazer, March 11th, 2011, 9.45 p.m. Hey, Don, I have a question. If I promise to pay $20 for the $10 shout-out, would that buy a $10 shout-out with the proceeds going to the podcast and then $10 to be used to mention the fact that Perry gave wrong? What it, was it saying? I'm not going to read it. Should I read it? Because it's bullshit. Okay. All right, I think this guy wants to be able to mention the fact that Perry... Oh, because Yeah, it's, because we have to put $5 so in the $5 jar. Every time, and he would yeah, that $5. so you would get the $5. So do you want to do that? Oh, if so, I might even give you $50. We need help. Perry, come out and be free. Do you want to read that? Yes or no? All right. The guy The guy thinks that I gave Randy Callahan a blowjob. Uh, you owe bullshit. $5 in the Perry jar, Perry. You I don't said owe it. nothing. And then it says, if so, I might even give you $50. We need to help Perry come, come out and be free. Okay. That was another $10 shout-out segment. $10 shout out. But he okay. should owe $5 in the Perry jar for but, saying that. Yeah. Why would I owe 5 bucks to the Perry jar? Because you did say it. And that was part of your contract that if anybody if, that says anything about that thing, that incident that happened 19 years ago. Whatever. Okay. Now. Can I make a comment? Not to... yet. We're doing a show. We don't just jump Finish. around. This show is precise and what we do. Everything is planned before we talk about it. So what I'd like to do right now, as you know, Ace Broadcasting lost the Days of Thunder and Spider and the Hench show. Both mm -hmm. gone. So Bye -bye. we are now going to start talking a little bit more about sports. And uh, so what do you like in the big game, Mole? I didn't really come prepared to talk about sports. I mean, I didn't know that we were going to change our format and start talking about Professional Shit. sports. Now, normally, I mean, back me up, but what makes our podcast different from any other podcasts is that we talk about pop culture and our own personal lives, right? Right. But but, but now we're I throwing mean, in some sports in there. I understand that we well, have to fill that void that was left by uh, Spider and the Henchman and um, so David Thunder. Up, Thunder. You want to mean, but Perry's, you know, Perry's versed in this stuff. Do you want to talk about Kobe? Or do you want to talk yeah, about... Yeah, talk about Kobe a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, now with the report on Kobe Bryant, Los Angeles Lakers, Lakers. star, here's Perry Caravello. Well, I don't really know much about Kobe, but I was just bringing up the fact, should we bring up the the Kobe matter over over uh, what's going on with the next game that's coming up? Sure, go for it. Against, uh, I believe it's uh, San Antonio? Sure. Okay, well, thanks, Perry. And now we're going to go to... I guess not. Saul Steinberg with Greenbaum with his NCAA picks. Yes, yeah, Shalom. 
Hey, hey Saul Michelle. Steinbergowitz Greenbaum, our attorney, and now he's going to be doing some predictions for our show. As you know, Dave's of Thunder and Spider and the Hench are out of the Ace Broadcasting System, so we're taking over the sport. So now, with some predictions, here's Saul Steinbergowitz Greenbaum. Yes, thank you. Uh, by, actually, you know, I, this may be a conflict. I'm looking into it because uh, Dave, the two Daves and Spider and the Henchman have contacted me in regards to representing them against Ace Broadcasting, so... Uh, I may do that, but in the meantime, I will uh, fill their void, as you said. Well, well, uh, wait a second. Mistakes. Stop. Yes. Stop. Well, well, what's your problem? My problem. Yeah, uh, you're oh, going to oh, represent my, these oh, two with dickwads? With, oh, with my knee. I, 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 the fuck your knee. Fuck, fuck your knee. Fuck your knee. You fuck your knee. Them. Are you, you going to fucking yeah, you represent these pieces like, of like shit? Up. Are you, you on our side? Thank you for asking about my knee, Perry. I am, uh, the infection has gone away. Uh, many expect a full... Hey, you want me to get a goddamn baseball bat and break the other one? Hey, you got ah! a broken neck, Perry. Leave him alone. Let him talk. Go ahead, Saul. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. No, I, well, I should tell you, the Ace Broadcast... So, I'm them. sorry for uh, being a prick, okay, man? I'm they, sorry. Is, is prick a bad word? Is that a curse word? Yeah, I, I would say yes, it uh, is. Okay, I'm sorry for being a jerk-off. Oh. Okay, excuse me. Well, Ace Broadcasting gave me a little hush money uh, for the pain and suffering I, uh, I, I went through, and in exchange, I wouldn't mention what careless a-holes they are for uh, having faulty microphones and equipment that... A simpleton like Perry could eventually use it as a weapon. So, so that's where we are right now. And uh, I, I did not definitely. use it as a weapon. It was an accident. Well, this is that's your story. It was an accident. That's your story. It could all be brought up in court. Whatever. Whatever. It could all be brought up Everybody in court. Everybody was there, dude. Yeah. Luckily, it was was videotaped. But anyway, I want to move past that. I've used that money to uh, set up a handicapping service, which is ironic because I am sort of handicapped here. It's that Saul, is funny. Saul Stein Virgo Wisdom is what I'm doing. Nice. And I've got now uh, a service, as I mentioned. Wait a minute. Hold on. What is the name of it? It's Get Saul Stein Virgo Wisdom. <laughs> and, uh, and for $75 a pick, I'm going to give out NCAA uh, tournament games. Well, could you give us the final four? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. okay. Let, me just, let me just tell you. Uh, I, I put all the uh, valuable information in the computer, and here's how it, uh, here's how it shaped out. The final four will be Florida, um, mainly uh, because their front court is strong, and my relatives, the Rabinowitz's own property in Pembroke Pines, and we visit every year. Um, Temple, Temple is the second That's team. That's a good one. Why That's is that? The chosen, the chosen prey, and it has to be there. Uh, BYU, because I empathize with uh, the religious persecution that went on, the Jews being the most persecuted of all the religions. You'd have to agree with that, Perry. Okay. Okay. And the fourth team, my final four, it was Illinois. Uh, the computer spit out Illinois, but then I realized nothing good ever came out of the state of Illinois. Could anyone name one thing? Barack uh, um, Obama as well as Scary Perry. Oh, I wow. think he was born in, like, Africa or something. Yeah. He was born in Africa, but that doesn't mean that he didn't live in uh, prosper in, in Illinois. But, okay, again, nobody was ever born in Illinois that was worth a damn. Okay. That's what Gale I thought. Sears. That's what I thought. So the fourth team uh, instead is Duke, and I have Brian Duke winning. Piccolo. Wait a minute, hold on. Why? Why Duke? Duke. Well, Mike Shashevsky. That's a Jewish-sounding coach's name. It's I was yeah. going to go with Robert Mar uh, Moses, but uh, a great, great Jew did so much for this country. But they're not going to be in the tournament. So Duke, Temple, Florida, and BYU. Duke winning the whole thing. Well, there you go. What it? I have to say, some real surprises in your final four, uh, but you have a reason for every team being there. So thank you very much. You know, I pay likes Duke. Why? Blue mm. Devils. <laughs> <laughs> what what blue, I mean? blue Devils. He's blue Devils. <laughs> you do that so well, Don. Yeah, because I'm doing an he impersonation of you. Oh yeah, whatever. Well, Saul, thank you very much for being on the show. Very uh, good. Thanks for having great... me. I'm looking forward to Perry's uh, half off kosher meals that that uh, deal he had set up. That um, uh, well, you got to buy a full, me. You've got to buy the full meal. You do, but they are kosher for Passover. I understand. They're not kosher. They're uh, all natural. I'm excited Health for that. Store. Well, there he is, Saul Steinberg with Greenbaum. Thank you for coming out. Give him a nice hand in the first you. segment. So long, all right. See you later. <clears throat> That was sports with the big three, everybody. So I think I, it was pretty good. I, I mean, think it really went well. I think we should have talked a little bit about the Players Association decertifying and 
opening up antitrust lawsuits from the individual NFL players. I mean, I'm not up to date on that. That's Barry stuff. But who knows what's going to happen. The collective bargaining between the players and the owners is so far apart that we might not even be seeing a season next year. That's interesting. Perry, what are your thoughts? I'm speechless. How, how, how could we not see a season next year? Well, just... Actually, Los Angeles, uh, I was watching the news. And they were mentioning, they said something about, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the uh, construction of the new stadium is not going to happen for another year. Right? Because why? We we don't know. You're I the one. You brought it up. Say it. You brought it up. You're the one that's they, bringing. It was... it... Oh God! Fuck you! What the heck, man? Why what do you mean? Fuck you! Be... You, you, you trying to make it look like somebody's sucking somebody's dick? What's fuck wrong off, with you, dude. What's wrong with you? Why can't you, you really fuck out anymore? Yeah, why don't you just you you were on a roll? Yeah, they they mentioned on the news something about not being able to make the stadium. What? The, 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 That's going to be another. Uh, wow, you hear something and you retain it like you're a fucking like, tape like recorder. Shit. No, it's like every detail is right good. there. It sucks. My re, my retention sucks. They said something about the uh, the NFL stadium not being. They're not going to start construction for another year or something like that. Okay, I I, I don't know where this whole thing is going. I bet they do. I, I would bet you. I would bet you that they build a stadium in L.A. Um, I bet they will. I'll bet you will never pay if I make a bet with you. What are you talking about? I, I paid you stuff, didn't I? What about the Super Bowl bet we had? Which Super Bowl bet? Uh, the one. I bet you that there would be the national anthem sang before the Super Bowl. I was right. They did we, sing it before the thing. Right. You owe me $500. Oh god, you gotta pay five hundred bucks. Yeah, you gotta pay me five hundred dollars, Mo. He made the bet with me. Hey, but that was last week. That's now this hey, week. Hey, can you take your headphones off for a second, Perry? Because you can't scam anybody doesn't mean that I can't. Shut the fuck up. Just dude, shut the fuck come up. Come on. Shut the fuck up. All right, Mo. I need my money, dude. It's. I have cash. I had some. I had some cash. Hold on. Oh, what do you got? It's five hundred. Hold on. Hold on. By the way, today's show we have Jasmine all over. We're like hippies, man. Yeah. Yeah, here. One hundred. Two hundred. Uh, three. Three hundred. About four hundred. Four hundred. It is five hundred. How much more? Uh, I think it was five hundred. Oh, sweet. All right, thank you very Good much bet, for paying dude. off. Good Absolutely. bet, Absolutely. All right, now, get back. What's that? $500, please. Shut the fuck up. You know, I'm trying to make us money. We're going to start selling Big 3 t-shirts. So if you're interested, we'll make some up, and we'll sell them to you. But who's going to keep all that money? Well, I'll keep it, and then we'll divide it. No, 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 no. That money should be sent to me. You're out to of Scary your... Perry. No, Perry. To actually shut to up. send the money to Perry shut... Caravello. Perry, if you shut up, shut up. Perry, Perry, shut the fuck up. It doesn't work that way because you're a thief, dude. I'm a thief. I've never. I'm a thief. What have I taken from you? What have I ever taken? I'm a thief. Yeah, you are a thief. You take all the fucking money out of his hand. I got a. I won a bet. I made a bet last week. God damn it! Now you're taking the same thing this week. Shut. Oh, he Perry. did win a fan square for me, man. That was a week Shut ago. Shut up, Perry. He's got $500 twice in a row. Oh, jeez. Two weeks in a row. Take take your headphones off. Take your headphones off for a second, Mo. He blew the fucking thing when we hypnotized him. <laughs> you, okay. but he got, you got the money last week. Okay, but what I'm saying, dude, shut the That's fuck up. $500. You blew that. Okay, that's my money. Oh, fuck. It's my fucking money. Not yours. You pull your own scams. You scam you, him every fucking week. It doesn't matter. You get paid by him every fucking week. It doesn't matter. Dude. And I try to help you with a scam. I hypnotize him, and you fuck that up. Okay? Two weeks ago. Am I right? Am I right? Whatever. Okay. Well, why do you got to blow it for me? Because you're a crook. Okay, put your headphones. Mole, put your headphones back ah. on. 
By the way, if you want to get in touch with this, and I forgot to mention this during the ten dollars shout out, uh, it's mm-hmm. Don Barris at seven five one zero Sunset Boulevard, number one five three, Hollywood, California nine zero zero four six. All right, now Mo, we have a. What we're happened? trying to get this out there. Mo played the home game. Yeah. What What do you know about that? Okay, what happened was a lot of people out there they filed that class action lawsuit because of their kids were swallowing the pieces of the game because it looked like little tiny sharp pieces of candy that were made out of jagged plastic that were made in right. China. So anybody who I, I'm just going I my lawyers told me that I shouldn't do this, but if you did have a lawsuit against if your kid did choke on a piece, just let me know and I'll send you some cash, all right? Just let me know. All right, you can send it to 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, yeah. Hollywood, California, 90046. And I'll, put, I'll send an envelope with some cash to you. You just have to let me know if your kid accidentally ate one of those pieces of candy. No questions asked. You let me know, and I'll send you some cash. All right, well, now, when we tape this, it's a few days after Japan was devastated with devastated with, with god earth- this earthquake oh, was insane the earthquake and, and then the tsunami hit and oh absolutely 8.9 for five minutes right and the, it, the north the northridge quake was a six nine and that was only for like six seconds right no it was longer than that because i was there I lived in Canoga Park at the time. Quit bragging. Yeah, you're always bragging. Always got to top somebody else. You live right here else. in Hollywood. Okay. The point is, one of the big three podcast friends to the show was almost caught up in that. Our pal Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Had some problems. He had to uh, swim home. Is that what he did? Or surfed or something. What, in, in uh, Japan or, or in Northridge? I don't. It I don't. Was somewhere in between those two. Wait a minute. Is that a call for us? Oh, I know who this one is. Well, I think coming up next is uh, the former producer of Windy City Heat, oh. uh, the great John Quincy Adams. He calls here and for Mr. some reason. Mr. Alcohol. Is, yeah, he is becoming he is an become alcoholic. Mr. Alcohol. All right, why don't you send that call through? Hello, do you know who it is? It's hey, yeah, Quincy. Quincy Adams. Quincy Adams calling. Yeah. Mr. Alky! Wonderful news. Listen, the entire thing turned out to be a bacterial infection, so go ahead and breathe. Mr. Adams, uh, we're well, not sure what you're talking Lord, about. Have I called into the Big Three podcast? Yeah. Yep. I thought I had rung up my caddy. I was out in Palm Desert over the weekend, and long story short, let's move on. Yes, yes. Uh, wow. How's the show? Really good. good. We were talking about um, that earthquake in Japan. Yes, dreadful loss of life. But as you know, I'm something of a cetacean fetishist. And after seeing the film The Cove, I can't help but think perhaps... The great father dolphin himself may be sending those bloodthirsty animals a message. Perry, you also love whales and dolphins, yes? Okay. (laughs) You like Flipper. Well, I have loved many a Flipper, if you know what I'm saying. What are you saying? Are you saying that you fucked a dolphin? I'm saying no such thing. But I wouldn't mind giving Channing Crowder a run for his money. (laughs) (laughs) Dolphin, yes. Who wants a joke? I do. Joke time. All right, go ahead. All right. Why do dolphins always swim in salt water? Mm. Because Pepper makes them sneeze. Quite right, Bone. I am adorable. Toodles. Uh, John Quincy Adams, everybody. Well, you know every joke there is. A lot of jokes. It's time to do our commercial. Uh, this is for Gamefly and Gamefly.com. That is basically Netflix for the video games. Now, for the people that buy video games, you can save tons of money because how long do you how long do you use a video game when you get? I usually play it. I get to the, the finished level and then it sits on the shelf. And right. I go, why did I spend sixty five dollars when I could be spending just a fraction of that, only about fifty four cents a day, getting all the game flight titles that I want delivered to my home. You know, and what? once I'm tired with them, I can get the next hottest title. Absolutely, Perry. Why don't you read this for? This whole thing right here. Ladies and gentlemen, doing the commercial for Let's Gamefly. Down. Down. Do I go Perry, would shit? you just take this? Down. Come on, God read damn. this. It's time to read the commercial. Go ahead. Gamefly.com is basically Netflix on, on uh, video games. Save tons of money over buying game video games. Buy as little as... Yeah, buy as little as uh, 54 cents a day. Mole already said that. Free shipping both ways. Games delivered right, right to your door. I mentioned that. Well, then why the fuck am I reading this, Keep monkey? Reading. 
See, parental control, set, uh, set limits for your uh, <clears throat> children to manage the queue, cancel any time, no due dates or uh, late fees. Two ways to get the three extended uh, trial. Go to the Big Three website, seven click on the uh, Gamefly banner. Go to www.gamefly.com forward slash the Big Three. Okay, so because that was nearly impossible to understand what the fuck you were talking about there. Yeah. Uh, sure. If you want to get these and you want to help out the Big Three podcast, what you do is you go to the Big Three website and you'll click on the Gamefly banner. Order your videos from there, or you can go to www.gamefly.com and then backslash the big three. You got to spell that out. Put that down there. Everybody's happy. And I'm telling you, if you're a gamer, you're going to love this service. Like I said, it's a Netflix for video games. That's gamefly.com. Now, what about Perry's commercial? All right. You want 60 seconds with Perry? Yeah, I do. All right. So put 60 seconds on the board. Here we go. Are you ready to go, Perry? All right. Wait till I say go. And then you will go, and you have 60 seconds. This is what his lawyer negotiated, that he can come in here and Not have my 60. lawyer, my, uh, your my manager. Your manager? Is your manager I'm agent? I'm agent, agent. Okay. He negotiated Talking that you would get 60 seconds a show to talk about anything you want. Are you ready? Go! Hello, friends. I'm Scary Perry Caravello of Scary Perry Skateboards. You want to buy a board, a good board of... 100% pure Canadian maple board manufactured right here in the U.S. of A. Go to www.scaryperryproductions.com. You'll see the word skateboard at the top of the uh, <clears throat> the uh, screen, you know, your monitor. You click on skateboards and you order right there. Scary Perry skateboards. They're 110%. 110%? Yeah. I say 110% because they're pure I think Canadian can maple that. wood. 100%. It's not illegal. It's 100. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100
how many people are coming to town? Well, I'm bringing I'm bringing my cousin Todd. He's a male nurse. He's got magic fingers. But <laughs> Carrie, <laughs> like a pair of no, really, Carrie, listen, whoa, 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 listen, listen to me, listen to Carrie, me. Carrie, he is awesome. Honey, he will take care of all your your hygiene issues, your sponge bath. Carrie. Yeah. Are you coming alone, or are you bringing somebody with you? I'm bringing Todd. And then it's then you're not coming. What are you talking about? She's what? trying to take care of but you. I have a junior one bedroom apartment. Is she staying? Are you staying with Perry? Yeah, we both are. In in a no bedroom apartment, it's like yeah, a studio. He's, he's, he won't get in the way. He's a male nurse, and he's really excited. Oh, how long do you think? You. How long? I'll be doing be? the cooking and cleaning and running, and he's going to do all your massages and. You know. And how long will you be staying here for? I don't need him to show up with you. Well, what did you think was going to happen, Perry? Perry, I can't do everything. Oh, shit. You're going to need him to bathe you and I, stuff. Uh, no, I'm not going to need him You're to gonna bathe me. He's going to pick You're you gonna up. You're going to need a sponge bath. You're going to need help. If I'm going to need a sponge bath, wouldn't you want to give me the sponge bath? Well, he's trained. He's got magic fingers, I promise. I thought you, you were the one that's going to school to be a freaking nurse. Right, but I am not a nurse as of yet. Okay, can I ask you a question? Sure. Is Larry Gerzak's discount liquor still over there on Velp? I think so. Yeah, I got I got caught ripping off uh, uh, roller papers at one time. <laughs> <laughs> Old man Gerzak freaked. <laughs> I used to live over oh by Franklin God. and Shay. So realistically, Perry, you thought this was going to come out and just some girl. By the way, Carrie, we saw yes. pictures of you. You're very, very attractive. You're a very cute girl. Are you married? No. How long before that uh, divorce is total? Uh, a couple months. Oh, so you were married at one time. Yes. Okay. And, and Perry was telling me that you adopted a couple kids. Yeah, twins. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Where would you adopt them from? Ethiopia, Africa. So you're like Madonna. No, no. More like Angelina Jolie. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this guy talk has not really become a real guy talk. Mm-mm. Oh, I like to talk about the ladies. Yeah, I know, but, but Perry, you it doesn't sound like this thing that you were trying to make in your own mind what was like some beautiful girl coming out here to take care of you. Well, I'm going to take care of them. But it doesn't sound like you were going to come out by yourself. I mean, now that you're bringing out your your brother or your cousin? Well, he's a male nurse. Well, that'll be helpful for you, Perry. I think it'll be awesome. The massages and the baths and everything will be awesome. Well, those massages consist of release, uh, if you know what I mean? Absolutely. Wrong. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's cool. Next. Whatever he needs. Next, girl. Thanks, Carrie. Hey. So, wait a minute. So, hey, What? I don't need a guy to come along with you. If you're coming, you're coming, and you're coming alone. Well, who's going to give you the sponge baths if it's not your brother? She will, god damn it. brother is a nurse, and he's going to milk your prostrate for you. He knows what he's doing. Goodbye, Carrie. Wait a minute. Don't good goodbye. How How rude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fuck that. What are you talking about? I'm done. What are you talking about? Next. Put your headset back on. Be professional, dude. What are you talking about? Perry, she is offering you to come out here and help you out after your I'll surgery. Oh, cookies. Oh. And bring cheese and brat. Oh, oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Bring cheese and brat. You know that I'm a fucking lactose intolerant and fucking nut, right? Oh, but now it's a big joke. Hey, that's bring cheese the capital. fucking... Do not bring put the, down our cheese. Put down Don't you dare put down the United Don't States. Don't you dare. In a heartbeat. Yeah, well, I'll tell you Because I can't eat that shit no more. Let me tell you something. If you went over to Perkins Family Restaurant over in Chihuahua, they'd kick you to the curb. <laughs> okay, Perry. Well, I guess I shouldn't shit. bring Todd, huh? Todd stays in Wisconsin if you're coming. Capiche? Well, what do you expect to happen, Perry? She girl. didn't sound like she wanted to bring anybody with her. But what are you talking about, Perry? First of all... Oh, she's probably just fucking with me. Are you fucking with him? No. Okay, okay Perry. Next. Did you expect her to come out here and it was going to be this thing where she's just jerking you off the entire time? No, I didn't. <laughs> what did you expect? Perry. I thought... What? You know better than that. Yeah. I'm Perry. not Donna. We're not talking Donna about didn't that. do nothing. Yeah. She drank her Baileys. Was, all Donna did was drink the Baileys, drink 
Not one, not two, but three cases of fucking beer in a weekend. She got uh, she got into the Mile High Club again before she saw Donna you. Donna was joking about it, no, she said. She said. Now she's going back and saying. Here, you said there was a lot of chemistry after the three cases of beer. I never said Is that. Is that what he said? Hey, yeah, he did. He so told you've... me that there was a lot of chemistry between chemi- him and Donna. After all right, the three all right. Three right. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you when I get home. Okay, let me when ask I you this, Carrie. This. Carrie, let me ask you a question. Yes. You talk to Perry a lot? Yes, he, yes. Does he ever say anything bad about me? Never. Does he ever say anything bad about Mole? Never. Does he talk about the show at all? Mm, a little, yeah. What does he say? He wants to do another one. Do another what? Movie. No, he wants to do Windy City Heat too. Yeah. Well, it's probably going to be Bean Town Heat now. Okay. Well, Carrie, I'd like. I hope. Hopefully, you are here, and hopefully, we get a chance to meet you. Uh, you yes, know. Yes, I am going to come out, and I. Be- I probably won't be able to bring Todd. You won't be able to. Have problems with it. You damn right. Well, we'll see. I think personally, and let's I take. I think a- Todd would have been a great idea. I think Todd's a fantastic idea. Mole. Listen, I just want you to say hi to the guys down at Hi Fi Heaven on Six Up South Military. If you have anywhere you want, Mo, you just write a list. Hi Fi Heaven. I'll make my rounds. I'll do it Monday. All right. Well, Car- what is your last name, Carrie? Garner. You l- give a nice hand for Carrie. Gar- Carrie you know, Garner. Are you any sweetheart. relation to Josh? No. Okay, I'll bet you are. Anyway, yeah, that, that's Carrie Garner. Give her a nice hand. Yay. And we'll see you when you get here, Carrie. All bye right. now. Cheers, bye now. Guys. Love, look forward to it, babe. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Wow, you are cold as shit to these people. You got a professional. She... You're going to fuck her brother, dude. Give me some. He said he's going to give Goodbye, you a Bye, man. Don't fucking no leave bro- me hanging. There's no brother coming. Don't leave him hanging. Yeah, there you, you go. Fuck there's, no brother. Brother. there's no brother coming. Let's talk about other stuff. All right. Are we ready to move on from that? Are totally. You, anything else you want to mention, Perry? I'm just upset. Okay. Well, I don't... But why are you upset? I don't know. Well, to explain it real quick. Well, because I, for go. some reason, I think you and her spoke... No. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you the God's honest truth. I did not speak to her about anything. I'm telling Perry. Let me All tell right, you this: it's a like a joke that no, she's going to bring okay, up. Okay, well, she may have made that up on her own because I had nothing to do with it. And Perry, look at me. Look at me. Look at me, Perry. Nurse. Look at me, Perry. Said, I'm telling you this: I did nothing because I want to do these apartment shows. I don't want to do anything to piss you off, and that's the reason the next segment is clearly the best thing that we do on this podcast. It may be the best thing done on airwaves today. I'm talking television, podcast, radio, anything. It's time once again, and this isn't the home game. This is the real thing. It's time for Mole Play. Yeah. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Uh, now, Mole Play is an improv game that we play here on the show. This is where Mole will set up a scenario, he'll set the cast, and then he'll direct the scene. Now, Mole, what will we be doing on today's Mole Play? Okay, today we're going to go into the future. Today we are going to play a game. Today the scenario is this. We are in somewhere where we've been before. It's Perry's apartment. Ooh. Perry has just had neck surgery and he could barely move around okay. he but he's starting to live in his own filth because he can't let move around but out of nowhere a male nurse from green bay wisconsin named big dan shows up and he's going to help perry out perry's reluctant at first but big dan's help uh uh but Perry realizes he can't say no to Big Dan, the male nurse's help. Hey, a ball play! Wait, you didn't cast us. Oh, Who's, you're Big Dan. The, you're going to be Big Dan, the okay, male nurse. All right. And you've got to give him a sponge bath. Scare master, you're going to be scare master with a broken neck. So you can't move around a lot, no matter what Big Dan does to you. Ball play! Oh, boy. Oh, how, how are we feeling today there, scare master? Stiffer than fuck. Really? Let's I'm see. I'm very upset. Turn this way. Let me see. Can you look? I can't turn. i got to okay. turn my Okay, all right, body. well... Oh boy, you He's really like stink! Turn and, and Big Dan, the nurse, looks at looks at it, disgusting, disgusting Perry. Oh God, I remember how gross you were before this neck surgery. Now you're just a fucking filth monger. You're disgusting. You stink. Just a second. Look, Where's Brian? 
Okay. All right. Anyway, you. it's time for a bath. All right. Give me the sponge. So Big Dan grabs a sponge. Use his hat. Use his hat. Okay. No, I'm not going to. No, I'll, I'll use, use this. Use hat. All right. Let's see here. Lie down. Keep keep Good. lying. Scare Master lays down okay. in his own filth. And okay. Big Dan starts to give All him a right. sponge. Get, Come on. Get your hands I'm out I'm just going to. Okay. Let's get this. Oh. Really cleans the inside of his thigh. <laughs> he's really nice. watching the inside right. of Scaremaster's thigh. Okay. And, uh, he's grabbing that thigh. Scaremaster's starting to move around. Oh, and he gets some ice from his big okay. gulp. Hey, get the <laughs> fucking hands off my puts fucking Puts the ice, ice right on yeah. Perry's scratch. Oh, yeah. And then on his face. Hey, and there goes his glasses. Clean and now he's cleaning his face. Holding his arm Let and cleaning his face. And he cleans his chest. Scaremaster tries to bite him. <laughs> and he's washing his okay, face. Okay, we're all done. Nice. Hey, Gary. You missed one spot, his hair. You didn't watch his hair. Oh. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, wash his hair. Oh, yeah, wash that. Come hair. here. Don't. Come disgusting. on. Hair is disgusting. And he really gets in that disgusting hair. It's really like a rat. Okay, there you go. And that <laughs> is... Wait a minute. Hold oh. on. Carrie, what are you doing? <sighs> you look very beautiful, Oh, and this Carrie. Carrie. Big damn sister. <laughs> Carrie, come here. You know, I don't think we're blood related. Oh. She shows him the birth certificate that proves they really are actual brother and sister. He throws it to the side. This means nothing to me. And they make love. Oh, yeah. And roll on top of Scaremaster's <laughs> oh, dead body. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let go of me! Oh. Oh. oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck off me. And that's Moplay. Sick bastard, you more play, more play, let's play more play. That's pretty intense. More play, more play, let's play more play. More play! Well, there we have it. Another mole play. During the days of our number one rated public access show, this next segment was far and away the most favorite segment that we had on the show. It has now become one of the show's lowlights. Once again, it's time for Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. Well, since we just got off the phone with Carrie, yeah, and she plans on coming out here with her fucking cousin or brother. By the way, can I say one thing real let quick? Let me tell you hold something. Hold on, hold on. No, when no, I said, no, 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 when no. I said, wait a second, let me put my comment in, and then you can go on. How would that look on the wedding invitation? Perry and Carrie invite you. To to their wedding. She could be Scary Carrie. That would be cool. Scary Perry and Scary Carrie together. Just like it would have been with me and... see Scary Perry and Scary Carrie get Scary married. <laughs> that that'll be funny. <laughs> That's the invite? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Go, go he can't down. eat any Scary Dairy. Yeah, Scary Perry can't eat no Scary Dairy. <laughs> or she turns into a Scary Fairy. <laughs> Let's turn into some Scary Shittin'. Oh, that's really a way to fucking just kill the joke. Good job. Good job. Okay, go on. But now, if she comes out here with some fucking brother or cousin or somebody, oh, but he's a nurse. I don't give a fuck. But what did you expect? In all honesty, what did you expect? I from expected this? some respect from her. I well, how's that? Some, She's some coming out to take her. love. You, you don't know? even know her. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you know her? Well, you don't know her. I'm not asking her to fucking come out and bathe me either. So are you wary of Carrie? I'm getting very wary now, but I think she's doing this as a joke. Well, she, oh, maybe she is, but if that's it, then that's fine. For the fine. show. Well, and I think it's, it's a cute one. because. But I, but I want you to know. I actually, have... for the show, it's a cute one. You know, telling me that she's bringing out her, her brother or cousin to just, you know, make make the show kind of funny. Yeah, you got to do something, Barry. Pick it up. Pick it up. She's boring. Yeah. Oh, God. Dude, I've I've been in so much pain lately. Oh, thank you. Oh. Me okay, this, let me ask you this. At one point, and be honest, this is just this isn't guy talk. This isn't guy oh. talk. Perry, stop throwing things at Mole. Threw it at me first. Okay, I didn't tell him not to. He has my permission to. I'm asking you not to throw things back at him. Now, I want to ask you one question, okay? Get your mind straight. Stop looking around. Your fucking mind is scattered right now. I'll ask you this question. What did you really expect to happen? Now, don't... Did you think she was going to come out here and, like, dress in lingerie and bathe you and jerk you off and things like that? 
What do you think, stupid? I don't know. Is that what you thought? Of course. But she, did she ever say she was going to? Has she <laughs> given you any indication? She didn't have to. Look at Scaremaster, man. He's going to work his magic on her. But did you really think that that's what she was going to do? Dude, what do you think I am? An idiot? Yes. Go fuck yourself. No, go fuck yourself. Seems like I a mean, good place I mean, to wrap it up. And that's Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. Wow. Well, that was terrible. That was fucking terrible. All right, well, you know what? Because of Perry, this may have been our worst show ever. Yeah, because of me, every show is the worst show ever. Well, I'm glad you uh, finally admit to it. Well, then I guess it's time to say goodbye. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the show sucked today, but I blame Perry for not being prepared. I'm Don not Barris. Not being prepared. You are. Yes. And you I'm always are. always prepared. You are. The Scaremaster. Don't forget, if you want to get in touch with us, I'm on Don Barris at Facebook. Perry's at Perry Caravello on Facebook. That's Caravello. K A R A R A V E W L O. Walter Molininski, Windy City Heat, Tim Perpedic, uh, and Tim for... Perpedic isn't even a part of this show. I don't know where the fuck you keep bringing it. Put it out there, guys. Here we go. We big are the big three. three. Next uh, week, spaghetti. Don't forget, next week, we are at Perry's apartment. If I'm not in the hospital. Perry, if you fucking aren't there, it's going to be really a bummer. See you later, guys. Hey, who's $10 in that? Yours.